let's do more logical fallacies. This is going to be part two. I'm not really sure how many parts I'm going to make. It kind of depends on how well these do. Go watch part one. It explains what logical fallacies are. Then come back and we can talk. The first one up is the false dichotomy fallacy, also known as the false dilemma fallacy or false binary fallacy or the black and white fallacy. You can use any of those. Super easy to understand, also extremely common. This is where somebody poses an idea or situation as if there are only two options when there are, in fact, more than two options. Hey bro, in Star Wars, would you be like a Jedi or a Sith? Well, I'm not really into the whole cult thing, so I wouldn't do either of those. What? No, you have to be a Jedi or a Sith. No, you could pick something else. Like You could be a bounty hunter or a merchant. You don't have, you don't have to pick those two. You get the idea. In the real world, we see this all the time, and sometimes it can be kind of difficult to catch because false dichotomies are a way of phrasing a situation into a binary. You can either be a good guy and obey the law or a bad guy and break the law. Well, that's a false dichotomy because what if the law is bad? Laws don't determine morality. It used to be illegal to free enslaved people, but you wouldn't say, oh, that's a bad person who freed those slaves, right? You get the idea. If somebody poses a situation as if it is for certain only two options, when in reality there's a possible third or more options, they've created a false dichotomy. Speaking of laws and enforcing them, the next fallacy is called the appeal to authority. The appeal to authority fallacy happens when you assume that something is correct or true because somebody who has authority in that field said so. Like if somebody says the carnivore diet is the healthiest diet you can have because a dietitian said so. Just because a smart guy says something doesn't make it true. Generally, when you're debating and you need evidence to support your claim, you're going to need a lot more to go off of than just, oh, this really smart guy in the field said that this is the case, right? Uh, unless that person in that field did the research to back their claim, in which case you would cite the research, not them. But yeah, just assuming somebody is right just because they're an authority is fallacious. In the real world, we see this often with police. When someone assumes that what a police officer says is true or correct because they're a police officer. You might see an example of a police officer giving like an unlawful order or violating somebody's rights. And you'll see comments saying, well, why didn't they just comply with the officer anyway? Stuff like that. And it's like just because they're an authority in the situation doesn't mean that what they said or did was correct. You have to be able to look at situations and evidence with a discerning eye and not assume that just because somebody is an authority that they automatically are in the right. That's appeal to authority. Next fallacy. The slippery slope fallacy. I put this in a video recently. A slippery slope fallacy is when someone says that an event or a situation is going to cause a separate event or situation to happen, which will then cause another event or situation to happen, etc., etc., without uh, evidence to support each step of that claim. It's basically making a chain of predictions based on insufficient evidence. A real world example would go something like this. Hey, I think we should look at uh, considering some more sensible gun laws in America since schools keep getting shot up. No, I don't want more gun laws. If we start adding more gun laws, they're going to start criminalizing my guns. Then someone's going to come and try and take my guns from me. And then only the bad guys are going to have guns. And the bad guys are just going to run everything. Oh, but that's like a slippery slope fallacy then, right? Because you're just, you're just guessing that that would happen, right? In reality, we got like a lot of data and real world examples from countries who have added sensible gun laws. And what you're saying isn't what's reflected like at all. You know what I mean? Like they added the sensible gun laws and the bad guys aren't running everything. You know, the bad guys aren't shooting anybody. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to put like one or two more fallacies in this video. There's a lot of logical fallacies. I can make like a lot of videos on these things. By the way, if you're already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I appreciate you. And if you're not, I mean, you could. Like, you, you could do that. It's free. The last fallacy is called the loaded question or the complex question. A loaded question presupposes that the person being asked already agrees with some aspect of the question before answering the question. Oh, the word presupposes is used by debater bros pretty often. Presupposes means that you made this assumption before we got to the point we're at now. If I were to say who created the universe, right? That presupposes or that assumes before the question is asked several things. It assumes that the universe was created. It assumes that whatever created the universe has some kind of identity. And so the question is loaded with those assumptions already in place. And if you don't catch the fact that they loaded the question, then whenever you answer it, regardless of what you say, it's implied that you still agree with the parameters of the question. So, Drake, have you stopped messing with minors? Whatever he answers, whether it's yes or no, the question's already loaded, which means that 
if he answers either, it's assumed that he still agrees with the idea of he was messing with minors at some point. You got to be on your toes for that one because it's a pretty common one for people to use and sometimes really hard to, to notice. All right. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you like the video. If you do, I might do more of these. I will see you guys in the next video.